Here we go. My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Oh. Thank you for yeah, joining the Pioneer guy. Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars. Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ARY26 Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. <gasps> but don't stress, however. Your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. But I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. All right. Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects of long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache. Vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling of emptiness or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. Welcome! My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first, please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. All right, fine. All right. One of my jobs is as your mental state, and as space sickness has been an <laughs> issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? These are like photo you know what we're gonna go with the dog yes yeah, dog thank you I'm super glad you're not crazy what are these I can't read what all that says birthday vet something then Departure. Looking for love. A bunch of Chinese takeout, I think, to the left, and then phone numbers for this guy looking for love. It was one of the people that worked on. There's something that it says down there, but I can't. Is there a way to crouch? No, there's not, as far as I can tell. 
Ooh, Grob. Huh, Grob, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. Yeah, look, there's a lot of little things around here, like that, whatever's on that picture frame, like stupid stuff around here that I love. While there's nothing in the world, I would like more than to launch this craft back to Earth so you could rejoin your loved one. Do you have any? This remains impossible until you find a suitable fuel source on the planet. Meet Buddy Deluxe. Oh, this is how we get a friend. Oh, that's how we invite our friends. Alright, gotcha. I guess we're going down here, huh? Local font. I mean, like these little guys. Aww, it's chilly. Puffer birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. They're drugs, mm. but good drugs. For healing. Not fun. Aww. These aren't real. Not tenno weeds, tenno reeds, big difference. Huh. Alright. Punch the kick Pick the baby. Be gone! Hey, look, you picked up some carbon. Good for you. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. Nice work. Oh you have to craft a basic nomad plasma. The 3D printer the javelin is ready for your input. As we get the food. automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay until you go and break hand. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. I agree. Now we can kill the local fauna twice as fast. Give me a temperature 92 degrees. It's nominal. Actually, let's see how good it is at murdering indigenous wildlife. Two shots. Better. But this will have to do for now. Alright, there we go. Now we're through. functioning correctly, but yeah, initial so. scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that to directly contradict this idea. Mm -hmm. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Now, right here is where you start noticing this a pattern several spongy scan, pom -pom -pom. kill, scan, kill, or scan and use to help okay. kill. So basically, we walk around this planet, new explorers, we scan These things, find stuff like a that's useful, Quickly, and we yes. use it to murder the Becca, local wildlife. So, basically, like every colonial power has ever done, except on a planetary CEO. scale. So yeah, Please that's nice. Can I kill these things? Oh, yeah, it's dead. A bag, sponge from a wiry metallic red, filled with. Huh. Alright. This plant's bare and slightly hallucinating. As with us, take it slow. Ooh. Alright then. Oh, what is this thing? 
Can I not scan it? That's stupid. Look how freaking huge it is. This freaking thing is massive. Here, you can see me not even 10 minutes in the planet, and I'm not even doing space drills. Great, isn't it? Hallucinogenic? Oh shit, it is hallucinogenic. Oh. oh. Why is there a gr everywhere? This, and this into space ahead of us? It has anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration efforts. Please scan it. This? Just in case killing the adults wasn't sadistic enough. After having gotten hit on space drugs, it's time to go fight space crabs. No, not that kind of crabs. Can't we? Hold on. Nineteen ninety eight. Ooh. Now nah, we're gonna go with regular for now. Okay, hide menu. There we go. That's our shot right there. We got to bring in other creatures. Yeah, no. Alright, return to game. Oh, that's cool. They had the little drone taking a picture of us. There gonna be more of those things around here? Ooh, no, but there is this. My temperature sensors are picking up a molten liquid. If you analyze it, we may be able to craft an upgrade. 
yeah, sure, just stick it in the explosive plant. What could go wrong? Well, nothing, apparently. Serious, I missed it. It's secreting some kind of goop to protect itself. It's nasty, Pioneer. Real nasty. Real nasty. Oh, 
right here. Yep, I guess so, huh? Oh, and here's a hole. Alright, well, let's take another picture. Photo mode! What am I doing? Oh, I'm facing the wrong way, that's why. Wait, what? Right, <laughs> so messed up. You know what? Fine, we're just gonna take a picture of this thing. Alright, there we go. Now, let's go down here. Oh, what are these? Strange alien barrier. 
Alright then. The best part about this game is that after having killed the local wildlife, you get rewarded for it in the form of plundering ancient treasures from the planet. Great, isn't it? So now I can go uh, free up that tree. And now we come to the final boss. His name's Teratoma, but he looks like his name is Kyle. You know, that kid that we all knew in middle school and high school. That every time you got pudding for lunch, he would always come up and go, Hey, you gonna finish that? You know, with the acne and the pimples. Trust me, when we put this guy down, we're doing him a favor. to give us back all our chicken nuggets. The chicken nugget. The golden blue glowing chicken nugget. Which is great. And now he's very hungry and he wants you instead. But not to worry. Because you come You're out alive? you guessed it. I had a bet with a neighboring AI on YRG-43. It appears I have lost. While we were briefly out of contact, I received what I can only describe as a barrage of messages from our CEO concerning that object you have recovered. So I have marked your mission as complete. You can now return to the Javelin and begin the journey home if you wish, so long as it is sufficiently fueled. Now it's time to get fuel and get the hell out of here because I'm sick of this planet. I've been attacked, I've been beaten, I've been pooped out. You know, it's all just generally horrible. Even though I did come here and kill the local wildlife and plunder its resources, 
it's obviously not that bad, right? They attack me. It's not like I'm the one at fault here, right? I'm not the one working for an evil corporation. time to go home or that's what i thought finally get to go home see my family so ready to get off this goddamn planet i'm sick of getting eaten licked stepping in weird alien scoops eating weird things all of them hey friendo just letting you know i've got another mission request from kindred Okay, everything just has no idea what they're fucking doing, dude. I'm gonna fucking fly out there to the headquarters so much.